going to give a quick demonstration on pizzicato because someone asked me how do we get from playing the bow to playing the pizzicato. Uh, when you're a beginner, you're taught to plant your thumb on the fingerboard and then and then you've got your index finger to do the plucking. Okay, and that's fine. I still utilize that technique when I have time to plant my thumb. Um, even when you're holding your bow, you hold your bow in your fist and you can still plant your thumb. So if, if you're playing along, get the bow in the fist and plant that thumb. Okay, sometimes you do not have time to make the full transition from the bow hand to the fist. So what you do then is you maintain your bow hold, but you allow your index finger. Then you don't have your thumb anchored, but you can easily So it depends on how much time you have. Whenever I have time, I do make the full transition and I plant my thumb because it's so much less effort. It's more relaxing to do that. But more often than not, in orchestral playing, you don't have time to do that. So then you can just maintain your bow hold and utilize your index finger while the rest of your bow hold stays normal on really long and extended passages. I set my bow in my lap, not usually on the violin stand because your stand partner might knock it off. <laughs> I put my bow down completely if there's like a whole five minute passage with just pizzicato. Take it easy on yourself and put your bow down. And finally, if you ever see the little tiny plus sign over a note, that signifies that you are supposed to use left hand pizzicato and uh, usually if you're lucky it's going to be on an open string but sometimes it's on a fingered note and I can't find my music for uh, Zigeunerweisen by Sarasati but there's a passage in there that uses a lot of left hand pizzicato and I can only remember the first bar or so but it, it goes a really cool effect. Um, so that's what that means when you see the little plus sign. Okay, so to have a successful pizzicato, practice getting from your bow hold into the fist. Oh. Bow hold into the fist. Bow hold, you could think of it like a pistol. Bow hold, pistol. The thumb is back, ready to get anchored, and the f index finger is ready to pluck. Okay? bow hold pistol, bow hold pistol. And then remember that if you don't have time and you can use Twinkle Twinkle Little Star as an excellent little tool to help you quickly make these transitions. Very good exercise. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.